Uh, I get asked questions quite a bit about um, composite techniques, so I guess I'd share a video to show what I do with that. Um, so this is an intercooler tank here. Um, it's pre-preg carbon fibre. Um, it's quite smooth inside. I mean, smooth enough for it. the internal of an intercooler tank. I thought was as turbulent as they are. Um, I've just bonded it, bonded and screwed it to the edges. And it gets an O-ring seal around the edge here to clamp onto the tank, onto the sorry the intercooler core. So anyway, here's an example of some of the tooling. Like this is the intake manifold uh, for the turbo four-stroke version of um, uh, that bike I'm working on, injectors. Um, this is the mold. This is a two-piece mold for um, the in intercooler cooling duct. Here's the duct itself. So this is a split mold through here. It's two pieces, this comes off, it's doweled on to be able to get the part out in and out of the mould, or you know, out at least. It's reasonably smooth inside. That's two layers, all these parts here you're seeing are two layers of 12K pre-preg carbon. Um, here's, the, here's the pre preg I've been using, I'd use various stuff. But, um, it's not very rich, it, not terrible, it has quite a long out life. That's one of them there. Um, these moulds, obviously I've drawn them in SolidWorks, drawn the part I want, and then um, take a surface off it and use the back side of the surface to um, machine out that. Uh, I have a large CNC router, I just machine all this tooling in and then just give it a quick hand finish. It has small lines in it from machining that you just hand finish. And then I'll put a, um, a sealing surface on this this is a this is ren shape 5008 it's 42 pound board i put a sealing surface soaked into the surface and then um, a release coat on it so there's that for that same with this this is all very common parts um, here's what i use for the inside of the part so this is just p0 release film it has no breather holes in it all so um, everything is edge breathe uh, breathe everything out to the edge of the mold so that's the that's the mold surface itself, and then this is just the breather on top of that, and that 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 and that goes in the bag. Um, here's my autoclave here. Uh, I built this. Um, here's a part in it right now. This is this has just been cured. It's ready to come out and be debagged and trimmed. So, The controls and stuff on this autoclave. It uses a ramping controller and a pressure control here. Um, pressurized door seal. I generally run this on these parts. I run this at 260F Fahrenheit at about 80 psi or so. The pressure changes a bit, but it's about around 80 psi. So anyway, <coughs> there you have it. Some other examples of tooling. Here's the mould for the uh, um, seat and tank mount on that EX500 Kawasaki. Same thing, machined it from solid. Ren shape 5008. Uh, different pieces of tooling and stuff. Anyway, there you go. Thanks a lot.